Hey, what's up guys? It's Chairman Blantz coming to you from Exclusive Barbershop. Hopefully you guys liked and commented on that last video that I posted. I'm super excited about this channel. Um, you know, a lot of great things are gonna come on here. Uh, first of all, for those of you who don't know me personally, my name is Isaac and I've been cutting hair now for the past seven years and in a barbershop for the past five and a half years. Uh, so what I'm gonna be going over today is pretty much what you need on a day-to-day -day basis to be a successful barber and to be on top of your game every single day. So let's get to it. Okay, so what you pretty much see here, guys, um, it's a variety of tools and, uh, you know, every single one of these tools is a tool that I use daily. Um, this is not everything that I own, but I personally, you know, just, you know, put everything else away just because I'm not using it. Um, when it comes to dealing with hair, hair is very messy and it likes to hide under things. So the less things possible that you have on your station that you don't use or you don't need, just store it somewhere um, and only have the things that, that you use. So I'm going to be going over the, the, the kind of clippers that I use. Uh, the kind of trimmers that I use, the kind of shavers that I use, why I use them, how I use them, and on what I use them. Also, the different kinds of shears, the, the different kinds of guards and combs. Um, as you may see, these are two different kinds of combs, and they serve two different kinds of purposes. Uh, but right, let's get into it, okay? So I'm going to first start with my clippers. <clears throat> and this right here uh, will probably have to be my favorite clipper of all time, and it is the Wall Five Star Senior Cordless. And the reason why this is my favorite clipper I mean, first of all, this is a very beautifully designed clipper. Um, it fits very well in my hands. Uh, it is a clipper that pretty much you can fit any kind of hairstyle, you know, any kind of uh, hair type. And it's very easy to use all the way around when it comes to fading, trimming, blending, um, clipper over comb. Um, and it is a very, very well designed blade, helping you to really get those guidelines out and really helping you to get uh, have that really smooth looking <coughs> fade. Okay, now when it comes to quality clippers, you know, cordless clippers, the only con that you have compared to a corded clipper is that you are limited on the amount of battery that you have. So it's also very, very important to always carry with you a second pair just because while this one, you know, if you're using this one and it's dying, you know, you can simply come in here, you know, grab your charger, you can plug it in, you know, and while that's charging, you can just simply use your second um, clipper, you know what I mean? So this clipper that you're looking at right now, this is the Babyliss Pro Volaire and uh, I recently benched my uh, Oster Fast Feeds just so I can try these out um, and I'm I, I'm not very happy with it to be honest. Uh, one of the things that I do like about this is that it's very, very light. Um, so as I'm using the wash unit throughout my day, it does kind of get heavy, uh, you know, after 10, 11 haircuts. So this one here, it is very, very light, very easy to use. And that the levers is actually not placed on the side, it's actually placed right in the middle, which is a pretty cool feature to have. Now, when it comes to this clipper, um, you cannot zero gap it. I haven't really found a way to zero gap it, which is which is which isn't really good if you're gonna use it to fade. Um, this clipper, I personally, you know, stopped using it for fading, and I strictly use it for clipper over comb or maybe taking out some details uh, with the corners. But it is a very good clipper to have um, alongside with a clipper that you've mastered. Uh, for example, in this case would be the Wall Senior. Okay, so this is a very good pair. Um, this takes care of the blending, this takes care of all the dirty work, and this one, you know, comes in and gives it those finishing touches, you know, while I charge my clipper for the next cut. You know, that way you can pretty much clip your keeper, keep your clippers charged 100% um, throughout the day. Okay, so <clears throat> now when it comes to trimmers, okay, I have three different kinds of trimmers, okay, and yes, I do use um, all three of them every single day because they all serve different purposes, okay? Now, I'm gonna start off with my Comedian FX. Um, this is probably my favorite trimmer um, just because, I mean, it, it is a, it's a very well-engineered clipper. It looks beautiful. Um, that's literally the only reason I got it, just because it looks cool. <laughs> but um, as I came to use it, you know, um, I zero gapped it, and uh, it's a very good clipper. I, I use it for uh, edge-ups. I use it sometimes for even balding, um, but strictly edge-ups, just because I want to keep that blade nice and sharp. Um, and one thing that I do like about this, you know, comparing to other trimmers is that whenever you're actually doing the edge up, you know, you can actually see, you know, where you're placing the blade. So a lot of the times with some other trimmers, sometimes it's challenging to be able to see where you're actually placing the blade. Um, and this one, you know, that is not a problem at all. And life battery, I mean, this, the life on this thing will literally last you maybe a week, you know what I mean? A week where you don't even have to charge it. So second of all, we're gonna go with the gold FX. This is probably my second favorite trimmer, uh, just because this is pretty much what I use for balding, strictly for balding, and uh, strictly for designs. And the reason why I use this one for designs, strictly for designs and balding, is because the blade itself, okay, you may not see the difference, but this one is actually more zero gap than the other one. 
And the reason being is because whenever you're doing designs, whenever you're doing that sharp look, whenever you're actually coming in there and finishing up, you know, any, any details or anything, you always want to make that sharp look. That way you can come in there, right, with your blade, with your shredder's razor, and be able to finish off those lines, you know, those parallel lines, and it's very, very easy to glide in through without having to struggle, without having to scrape the skin. Um, and as, as you guys, you know, start seeing the, the, the next videos that I post, I will post. Um, you know, more tutorials about using trimmers and blades together um, whenever you're doing a design or any of that type. Okay, so lastly, um, I'm gonna go over my Andis Slimline Pro. Now, this clipper has been with me for the past four years. Um, I got this clipper back whenever I got my Watt Senior. Um, and back then, this is pretty much my duos, right? I had my Senior and my Slimline Pro. Most of my best work um, has actually been done with this clipper. Um, the only poly con that I would say that it has is that the blade itself is a little bit more narrow right than these other trimmers okay but one thing i do like about this clipper is that it does fit perfectly in my hand i really really like the aesthetic view of this clipper um not just that but it doesn't sound as loud as these other trimmers right <clears throat> this one right here is specifically this one is actually very loud um you can hear it you know in the whole barbershop whenever you're cutting as for this one it sits kind of low and it kind of doesn't bug the client's ears or anything like that so it's one of the pros to it. Okay, now going into shavers. Uh, when it comes into shaver, if you are somebody who is in the learning phase of becoming a barber, um, I wouldn't suggest you dive straight into shaver just because it's mostly a finishing tool. Um, and if you haven't really mastered or if you haven't really gotten used to um, on how these other tools work, then it's gonna be very hard to finish off with a tool like this because this is simply made for balding, right? If you wanna get that tight, fade you know all the way down to the skin you know where you could pretty much almost see the brain this is pretty much what you want to use um and it sometimes could be challenging to fade it in with the actual haircut and that can actually lead to a problem uh, which you wouldn't want to go through i promise you but yeah this is this is actually uh, my favorite shaver and is it is very easy to use it is very light it doesn't get hot it is very strong it's very very powerful very easy to clean simply remove the cap clean and we're good also, the reason why I like it so much is because it does have a charging stand. It does come with a charging stand, and it tells you when it's dying, when it's fully battered. Um, and, you know, throughout the day, as I reach out for it, it is, I can always count on it being 100% good. Now, the second shaver that I do use, um, this is actually, <clears throat> I don't use it very often, uh, but this one, uh, you know, it, it's not very much different. You know, it doesn't come with a charging stand, um, but it pretty much, you know, you'll get the same result as using pretty much any shaver. Um, the only difference would probably be battery life. Um, this one I do have to plug in sometimes and just kind of leave it charging before I use it. So that's the only con to it. Um, that is probably the only reason I do prefer the Andes just because I don't have to worry about charging. I can just leave it and it's, you know, consistently charging throughout the day. Okay, so. <clears throat> now, one of the only corded clippers that I use, okay, would have to be my Classic 76. Um, and the reason why I still use the clipper is because to this day, I believe that this is unreplaceable. Um, and probably the only difference between the clippers, this clipper and the other ones is, well not the only difference, but the main difference uh, will be the blades, the blades itself, okay? So this is a quadruple zero. Um, no, it's not shorter than a double zero. This is pretty much the measurements that they use back in the 70s. Keep in mind that they come out with this clipper over 40 years ago, okay? Now, the reason why I like it so much is because when it comes to the guards that it uses, okay, you simply remove the actual blade, the actual cutting blade, Okay, switching it for a different size. For example, these are three and a half. Okay, boom. It's a very powerful clipper, and trust me, there's not a single kind of hair that this clipper cannot go through. Okay, as to compare it to the other clippers, for example, my Wall Senior. You know, my Wall Senior, I did get the premium guards with it. Um, and as you may see here, these are the premium guards. Now, these don't come with the clipper. You do have to get this um, on the side. There are some special edition uh, boxes that do come with premium guards. Um, and the reason why I go with premium guards is because as compared to a regular wall guard, right? I have a three wall guard here with me, okay? It is a good guard and it, you know, it, it, is, it is easy to use and it clips and everything and it does the job. And you know, it is really, the really good guards, but the only downside to it, okay? Is as you actually have them, as you, you clean them and you disinfect them and you, the more you use them, you know, it begins to wear, it begins to bend. The clipper that actually holds the guard on the clip begins to loosen, um, and that is very dangerous because as you're going through a haircut, okay, you want the guard to be secured good because if it's not, you know, you have the risk of it falling off 
and then you may go shorter on the person's head than you intended to or worst case scenario you give that person a bot spot which you definitely don't want okay as to compare to my premium guards right if you compare my my number three regular guard to my premium guard okay as you may see these are a little harder harder to bend okay these are very easy to bend these are a little harder okay and the clip that it does have is made out of metal okay so whenever you do clip it okay you never be scared right or you never really run the risk of it falling off just because it is secured okay and i mean you have to really try to get it out of there okay so that is the reason why i went with this premium guards um and when it comes to the guards that i use for the babyliss pro um the guards itself to be honest they're they're, they're actually pretty bad um in my opinion um if you're a barber and you know you have an opinion about the guards on these i would definitely like your intel just comment on the uh, on on below and we can definitely talk about these guards i i really have no idea what baby this was thinking um the one itself if you look if you compare it to the wild guard it's very different right this one is very thin and it's very you know it's very plasticky okay as compared to the number one for wall it's a whole different size see that it's a whole different size you know so when it comes to blending with these two it's not a good combo to mix uh, not just that but you know you only have a one guard and it goes directly to the two guard um and as you see these are two completely different sizes and it's very challenging to bend the one into the two uh, which is why i don't really use these as very often there are occasions where i do use them uh, but it is rare now my senior clipper okay this clipper itself i mean whenever you are blending the zero into the one you actually have a half guard okay that can help you blend into the one okay and as you're blending into the two okay it is a huge difference just like the baby discards okay but what does make a one and a half guard allowing you to really blend into that guard allowing you to, to use the one and a half to blend into the two okay so it's a it's a very useful tool to have it's a i think it actually didn't come out with these till um a couple years later um you know after what was created uh, but i'm very thankful that they created the one and a half and the half card just because these are literally game changers and they will help you you know take a fade from zero to 100 real quick now when it comes to shears okay i do use a different different variety of shears okay and uh the first one i want to go over is probably uh, this heavy duty looking one um this one i don't really use for cutting length or i don't really use for trimming um this is more more used for shaping right when it comes to shaping the beard when it comes to shaping like an afro or something like that um you know those people that have that curly hair on top that want that nice uh fro looking shape um it's very good at going with these and just kind of get those outer hairs right, and begin shaping that form that your client desires okay now as for babies you know babies are sometimes challenging to cut just because they tend to move around a lot um they are very ticklish sometimes you know around the neck area so since they do move around a lot whenever you're going in with some shears you do run the risk of you know accidentally poking them or you know stabbing them or cutting them so you know these being as small as they are they kind of keep me more in control of the area that i'm cutting and they keep me more in control of how much i'm cutting um and if you know that baby does happen to move you know they're very easy to extract keeping the baby safe you know keeping their parents happy you wouldn't want you know a parent to sue you because you stabbed their kid in the eye or something okay now the one that came uh with that shear would have to be the thinny shears okay and these are actually viper shears it's made in taiwan uh very great shears very great quality um i don't believe i have sh i've ever sharpened these just because i never really felt the need to um and a lot of times you you, you do have to after you know cutting for several months several years um and i've had these ever since the 11th grade of high school so that was a while back um about four years back so you know this had been with me for a while and you know to this day i use them every single day okay now what i use for actual length and actual trimming would have to be these shoes right here um the reason f being is because these were actually designed to fit my hand right if you see the grip here it fits perfectly right it doesn't pass my knuckle you never want the shear to pass your knuckle placement here placement here pinky grip here boom right it's a perfect setup right that i use for pretty much trimming any kind of hair so i will be dropping um some tutorials in the future about how to do some shear work how to 
you know, different parts and, you know, the, the different steps that it takes to really get an even length um, all around. So if you're heading into pretty much, you know, the end of your day where you're pretty much done with all your haircuts and stuff and you're beginning to clean all your stuff, you know, I already kind of demonstrated on how to simply, you know, lubricate and clean your trimmers. But when it comes to your cones, when it comes to your guards, right, you always want to make sure that you always buy from Barberside. Okay, and you're disinfecting, you know, you're putting your combs and your clips in here for at least about 20 to 30 minutes, um, just so that way you can, you know, thoroughly disinfect and get, you know, your, your your combs and stuff ready for the next day. Okay, now comment below if you do want to see me uh, make a video of me disinfecting my clippers after a busy, busy day at the shop. Um, you know, usually my clippers are just, you know, worn down and full of hair and, you know, looking pretty nasty. Um, but yeah, I can definitely make a video, so just comment down below. But yeah, guys, and... As I'm, you know, letting my last client leave, okay, you always wanna make sure that you are using powder. Okay, now I see a lot of barbers not using powder. Um, and the reason why I use powder, now you don't wanna use too much, right? But you wanna use just enough to pretty much get all the hair sturdy off the ear, you know, off the neck and stuff like that. That way the person can feel like they just, you know, got out the barber shop and got, you know, treated and stuff like that. Uh, this, this brand itself, the Whiskey Woods, I like it just because the smell that it has. It has that, you know, barber shop smell. Um, that I remember as a little kid. So I don't know if you guys ever, you know, remember walking into a barbershop and smelling, you know, how it smelled. It was always something that stuck with me to this day. So I feel like, you know, you can really give that experience um, to a lot of clients that walk and, you know, and sit in your chair. Hopefully you guys found this video helpful. Um, if you guys feel like I left anything out or you guys, you know, want me to go over anything specifically, just, you know, feel free to reach out to me. I don't mind getting personal with you guys, getting on a one-on-one. -on -one. Um, but yeah, make sure you tap on that bell button, stay tuned. And I'll see you next time on Jeremy Blanche TV.